Hi everyone and welcome, this is Elena and I'm back today with another card video. In this video I will show you how to do some partial embossing using the Concorna 9 Happy Balloons stamp set and coordinating dies and couple Hero Arts ink pads, I'm using butter bar and cotton candy and here you will notice that my Misty has the blue stickers on you can um, now you can personalize your original Misty with blue or white stickers that are available on the My Sweet Petunia website. So here I'm stamping the solid balloon using the butter bar ink. And I'm just stamping multiple images in case I miss one or if I want to make different card later on. I like having um, more images available for a quick and easy card when I'm in a hurry. So next I'm using the other balloon that says celebrate and I'm using the cotton candy ink pad to stamp that one. And you notice here I'm stamping twice to get more solid and kind of more saturated image. So I think I did three of each and now I'm just drawing them because I'll apply some Versamark on top. So I don't want that embossing powder to stick where there is no versa marking. So I'm putting back my uh, panels into the misting, making sure they're nice and uh, snug in the corner. So I'm leaving that celebrate balloon there and I'm uh, adding the second step for the yellow balloon, the XOXO. So next for the solid, well the celebrate balloon, I'm just inking the bottom with Versamark and then dabbing it with a towel, so I have kind of more subtle, subtle transition between the Versamark and the non-Versamark part. Part. So I applied some rose gold Hero's embossing powder onto the pink balloon and gold embossing powder onto the yellow balloon, and just quickly keep setting that. You can see how that partial embossing is only on the bottom. Now I'm repeating the same process for other the other balloons. So I'm just uh, stamping, inking that the bottom of the balloon uh, with Versamark, and the whole one, the one that's the yellow one. And again, I'm using rose gold for the pink balloon and gold for the yellow. Keep setting that again. And putting it aside, and then I'm going for um, the last and third time, and repeating the same process. So here I'm inking only the bottom, then dabbing that edge with the towel, kind of to soften that edge, and then stamping using the misty. So I'm applying the embossing powder here. And now I will quickly heat set that. You see here it's melting. So I have all my balloons. Next I'll use the coordinating dies for the balloons and to cut those out I'm just using some microspore tape to secure the dies to my paper. By magic of YouTube I have those two die cuts done now. So now I'm positioning them on a white panel and as well I cut a banner uh, from the banner die from the same uh, die set, the Happy Balloons and I'm just pulling a couple stamps from the set to see what I want to do with that so I picked out Birthday and Wishes so to say Birthday and Wishes, next I'm securing that banner into my Mini Misty positioning the dies and picking them with the lid making sure they're straight it's kind of a little bit tricky with this because it's kind of a rounded banner. So next I stand with Versamark and embossing with white embossing powder. So I found that the Hero Arts white embossing powder usually works best for me so I kind of stick to it. Now I'm just shaping that banner, positioning the balloons and see how that card would look like. Next I'll just stamp the strings for the balloons just stamping this long string string, and I'll stamp it twice so I'm just positioning it in my misty 
I'm using my magnet to hold that so it doesn't roll. I'll ink that one up. I'm, uh, I'm using embossing body to apply some powder onto the cardstock so it doesn't, the embossing powder doesn't stick to where it should not stick. So the first string, I'm uh, embossing it with the rose gold embossing powder. So now I'm positioning the balloons to see where I want them to be. And next I'll move the paper to the right so I can stamp the second balloon string. So I'll emboss this one with the gold embossing powder well, because we'll attach the yellow and gold balloon to it. Quickly heat setting it, positioning everything to see how it looks. So I think that looks good. Next I'm using one of the Hero Arts uh, rectangle infinity dies to trim my panel. So by magic of YouTube that's already done and now I'm using some mounting tape to adhere the balloons onto my cord front. And next I'll use mini dimensionals to adhere that banner. And for the tails, the banner tails, I'm using some Ranger Multimat Medium to just apply a little bit with a, a micro applicator so those little tails stay in place. So I'm almost done here. Here's my um, card base. I'm using some black cardstock and scoring it in half. Next I'm using the tribal print from Hero Arts, the bold print 6x6 uh, to stamp on that background. So I'm using Versamark and my Misty where I removed the mouse pad that I had before your foam insert. So you can see the Versamark there and I'll be up I'm applying some uh, ultra fine clear embossing powder from Hero Arts. So we're almost done here, I'm just quickly heat setting this. You can see how the embossing powder is melting. Can I get very nice, uh, cool background. Next I'm using some black fan foam to adhere that panel onto my card to add some dimension. And I'm using Fast Fuse or Extra Tombot Extreme Adhesive to adhere that. And we are done with that. Thanks for watching and see you soon in another video. At the end, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my blog. Bye!